welcome to part four of the CRX survival kit build. Um, so just a quick recap. So far we've assembled the chassis, the shocks, the axles, uh, the transfer box and the motor. Um, all's gone well so far. Uh, no issues at all with anything. Next job we're going to do is the prop shaft, uh, which is the first thing to do on the next page of the manual. It's also the last thing to do involving anything to do with bag F. Okay, so just having a quick look at the shafts. They seem uh, very sturdy. Other good thing as well is they have threaded uh, drive pins on there uh, to go straight through there, which will be pretty cool. And also nice and strong as well. So the manual is saying that on those to uh, put a bit of thread lock on. So let's go ahead and sort those out. So what I'm going to do is put the threaded end just put it away. Like so. Let's just grab the thread lock. Now I'm not using the one that comes in the bag. No point in opening one up when I've already got one. So drop a thread lock on there. Pop the pin in. So these I've gone in so it's just tight and then I'm just nipping up that little bit further. <clears throat> okay, so there's the uh, axle ends done there. So just making sure that everything still moves freely, which it does, which is spot on. So let's flip the truck over now and mount them onto the transfer box. There we go. So that's those in now. Doesn't seem to be any binding at all. You can turn that nice and easily by hand. Excellent. So that's those on. So it's starting to look more like a truck now. Oh, we're getting there. So now we've got full drive, which is a good thing. So these uh, seem okay. Quality of the weld there, as you can probably see, isn't great. Uh, like I say, not too bad though. Shouldn't cause us any issues, hopefully. Okay. So there's the steps, and these are going to mount. Uh, let's have a look at the instructions. So the step looks like it goes towards the rear, so this would be the right way for this one. Some screws. Got the actual mount to go to the chassis. Okay, so that's those side mounts on. So next thing to do is actually fit the side steps. So all I'm going to do for now is just literally take them in as far as they'll go. Okay. Side rails are on. So like I say, that's added a nice amount of weight to that already now. So, still all working good. Okay. So the next bag is bag G02. So, in here we've got the Hobby Tech battery straps, put those over there, we've got some screws and a gasket, receiver area, metal battery tray, some awesome uh, text on there, and then we've got another tray for something, and then what seems to be the receiver box. So the next part to go on is the battery tray. Okay, so we've got the receiver box in place. Now all I'm going to do is uh, just fit the gasket to it now. Okay, so it does only go in one orientation and then the top 
and she's going to be held in by two of these. So the next bag to be used uh, is bag G03. Now this is part of the two-speed uh, assembly. So the kit comes supplied with this little micro servo here, uh, which is unbranded. Like I say, this should be all it needs uh, to do the job. Like I say, it's not a strenuous job for it to do. So let's just undo the wire. Okay, and in the bag there is a horn and some screws. Servo is mounted fairly easy, uh, just a case of it locates on the side of the two-speed box. And we just need to take the screws out. Uh, let's check these. They're all identical in size, which is great. So I'll just leave that one loose for a second. So I'll just tighten these down. The horn just needs to be connected up. Um, it's just simply that there is nothing else to it. So we'll go one way, we'll go the other way. This is literally all it is. So we'll just tighten that down for now. Obviously that will need to be set up through the transmitter later on. Now we're going to fit a uh, HPI waterproof servo. This is the one that comes out of the Venture. Um, it's brand new, it's never been used, never been connected up. Uh, like I say, it's not the strongest servo, they are only plastic geared, um, apparently. But like I say, it'll do for the sakes of just getting the electronics in there and getting it actually moving. Okay, so just off camera there, we've widened the the servo, mounted it up uh, into its correct orientation. Uh, it was just a bit fiddly, so I didn't want to just sit there on camera wasting time uh, getting that done. But so, so far we've got steering servo, motor, and uh, the two-speed servo as well. So what we're going to do next is uh, we'll connect up the servo horn. Um, so we just need to flip it over. And obviously we don't know if the servo is centered or not, uh, but we'll just set it up for the position it's in right now. So I'm going to go for the inner hole on this. Just tighten that down. Oh, okay, so that's that section done. Okay, there we go. So that's that section done now. Um, we'll stop there for this part of the video.